Hey, it's Matt Holquist here with the QuickBooks University. I wanted to give you a quick tip in this video to show you how to properly record cash back from a deposit, okay? This happens quite a bit in business and, uh, you know, you take a deposit to the bank uh, from customers and you want to get a little bit of cash back, whether that's to, you know, for your, you know, your own spending money or for petty cash or whatever the case may be. Okay. And oftentimes this just is not recorded correctly in QuickBooks. All right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're here at the home screen in QuickBooks and we're going to go to the banking drop down menu. And if you've seen the other videos or uh, gone through the training at QuickBooks University, you know that uh, once you receive payments against invoices and you take the step to go to make deposits, okay, you're going to go to this screen. All right. And what we're going to do is, uh, let's say that we received payments from, uh, we'll say Christy Abercrombie here, and we'll just say it's design income. There's a check number, one, two, three, four, and she paid by check, and we're going to say it's $5,000, okay? All right, so deposit total is $5,000. You're going to see these boxes down here that say, uh, uh, to get cash back from this deposit, enter the amount below. All right. So what we're going to do, cash back goes to, and you can pick, you know, any one of these accounts. If it's a distribution, then, which means that the owner is taking money, then you would put it here. But let's say that we are replenishing petty cash, uh, and you can put in a memo here, uh, petty cash, let's say. And we'll say it's $300. Okay. So now you'll see here deposit subtotal 5,000, deposit total 4,700 bucks. Okay. And we'll say save and close. All right. So now we made our deposit. And I'm just going to show you here if we go to the chart of accounts and we go to the petty cash register, you're going to see that we increased it by 300 bucks because that was the cash back. So now what we've done is we have properly recorded that the $5,000 was the deposit, but we took $3,000 out of it to replenish petty cash and all is good. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do, but it gets messed up quite a bit in QuickBooks. Uh, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Head on over to QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. Uh, I've got uh, some great training over there. Lots of members would love to have you join us. We'll see you over there.